Local folk told me when I moved into town that the fella next door was known for miles around as the Christmas light stringer, the slick of the West, and no one alive had ever gotten the best of Frank Jones. Now things were mighty peaceful through December's first weeks. Frank even steadied the ladder while I hung my fake wreath. He liked it so much, he bought one that was real. It was twice as wide, but that was no big deal. I put some candles in my windows to give a little light. He hooked up his own the very next night. They were three times as big and four times as bright. And I began to suspect that something wasn't quite right with Frank Jones. I was stringing up my bulbs, the greens and the reds when Frank started dragging something from his shed. It was heavy and huge and covered with hay. It was eight colossal reindeer and a massive painted sleigh. So I hauled out my flood-lit choir and manger with the tags on the cords that read, Warning and Danger! They were custom hand-wired, no room for doubt. They had the wattage required to fry the retinas clean out of Frank Jones. He raised a rooftop Santa with circling choo-choo trains. I put up big plastic wise men and bigger candy canes. He got 47 angels and a gaber with horns. I strung chase lights on the trees that read, The King is Born. He had mechanical elves banging hammers up and down. I built a star of David bright enough to light up the town. Someone had to lose. Someone had to win. There was only one thing left to do. Plug it all in with Frank Jones. Frank. The Christmas Eve sun was in its final decline as we stood back to back on the property line. With power strip in one hand and cord in the other, we counted ten paces, turned and faced one another. I went for my plug, but he plugged first, and blinding light struck the wintry sky with a burst. And as the heat melted snow we both stood upon, I knew I was about to strike the ultimate bond with Frank Jones. Frank. I fell back on my cord, its shining prongs found their mark, and for a moment we were joined by a mighty spark. The neighborhood lit up like Broadway and Vegas as the overloaded power circuit shaked us and baked us. Electric meters screamed, they were spinning like tops, and so was Frank's head when his rooftop Santa dropped. My plastic wise men belted, his choo-choos jumped the track. Then came a huge explosion, and the entire county went black. I placed a waxen candle on my table that night and read the tags on all my presents by that single source of light. But beyond the next door window burned a candle twice the size, casting glow upon the impish grin and beady little eyes of Frank Jones. Frank.